Hi, welcome to Biostock. Xintella develops stem cell therapies for the treatment of osteoarthritis and difficult to heal leg ulcers. The company's chairman, Gregory Batchelor, has been guiding Xintella since 2011. And I'm pleased to welcome him to the studio today to talk about the journey. It's nice to have you here, Gregory. Thanks, to have, thanks for having me. I'd like to start by asking you about your professional background and what brought you to Xintella. Yeah, by way of background, I'm a, I'm a lawyer, a corporate commercial lawyer. I practiced in, in Canada, in Vancouver, for a number of years. And eventually I find, found myself in Sweden, here in Lund, and actually started practicing law here in Lund. And um, eventually we started working with a lot of uh, innovative people and innovative companies here in Lund, and that got us into working with companies like Sintela. And, um, uh, you know, I've worked for over 20 years with these kind of companies here in, in Sweden, and uh, Sintela happened to be one of them. I was sitting in the incubator with a, another company when um, A.V. Lundgren Okerlund, our CEO and founder, mm -hmm. invited me to join the Sintela board, and that's how that happened. Mm -hmm. And you've been chairman since uh, 2011. Mm -hmm. uh, how's the journey been so far at, at, at Sintela? Well, I think it's been a tremendous journey. The company has made great achievements. We've, we've uh, achieved many, many uh, tremendous development milestones, and we continue to do so. And, um, you know, the way I look at it, uh, and we're talking, of course, about Zintela and Targinta, our, our, our cancer, our oncology subsidiary, and the way I look at it, those companies um, represent a tremendous store of value for our shareholders and investors. And our job is to unlock that value. And the way we do that is by de-risking the projects. And that means that we are achieving development milestones, we are creating data, building data, and, and moving those products forward ultimately to commercialization. And that's when you unlock the full value of the products we're developing. But along the way, we will continue to, to unlock value, to create value, and the way we will do that in accordance with our business model is by partnering with other companies at different stages of development. Mm -hmm. And, and that's, um, that's how I see the process for the last uh, 10 or more years in Zintela. Mm -hmm. And what would you say is the most uh, interesting or attractive aspect to Zintela's technology? Well, you know, it's, it's a unique technology and it, it creates several advantages. On the stem cell side, it gives us excellent stem cell products. And that means, hopefully, when we are through our clinical programs, excellent clinical outcomes as well. On the cancer side, we have a new uh, novel target that will address uh, aggressive tumors and uh, be, be very important for patients. What's interesting is that in, in any company like these two companies, startup companies, high-tech companies, you need three things. You need technology, which is important, obviously, and it's basically a given. Mm -hmm. You need people, and you need money. And with Sintela and Targinta, we have a really great crew of people. There's about 25 people working in these companies. Mm -hmm. And that, uh, that group has been put together by our CEO, uh, A.B. Lundgren Okerlund, who is not only our scientific founder, but also, you know, the business and organizational leader. Very, very capable and experienced uh, businesswoman. So we have a great crew. We've had great boards of directors, and we, we, we still have great boards of directors in these companies. And on the financing side, I think, you know, one of the biggest challenges for biotech companies in, the, in Sweden and in the Nordic region is financing. Mm -hmm. And that's a continual challenge. We're always looking for more money. All the companies are. And it's one of the biggest challenges we face. And we're very lucky in, in, um, in the Zintela group that we now have a, a solid shareholder in Fleury Invest, who now um, own about 40% of the company mm -hmm. and um, have um, continued to support us into the future and who uh, really believe in what we're doing. Mm -hmm. And if, finally, what are you most looking forward to in 2023 when it comes to Zintela's and also Targinta's growth? Yeah. 2023, I think, will be a really uh, interesting year. In, um, in, tar in um, Zintela, we have two clinical trials underway, and we will be getting data from, from both those clinical trials in 2023, mm -hmm. if all goes to plan. Mm -hmm. um, so we will have um, uh, more safety data in our knee osteoarthritis study out of Australia. 
um, and some efficacy indicators there as well in 2023, and I think that's going to be extremely important. Mm -hmm. In the uh, difficult to heal leg ulcer trial, um, we, we're hopeful that we will have both the safety data and some efficacy data because that trial has only a 10-week treatment period. Mm -hmm. So it's a very short treatment period and we will we should be able to to generate uh, that data during 2023. Now it's it's primarily a safety study, so it's it's uh, got some heavy exclusion criteria, so we're slow in recruiting patients to that trial mm -hmm. in screening patients. Uh, it's 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 very difficult, but we have um, uh, increased our our efforts to do so and I think there's every chance that we will get our our enrollment and, and get data from that trial during 2023. And in Targinta, we have, a, I think, a very innovative plan to run a um, phase zero clinical program on our, our two candidate antibodies. One is an antibody drug conjugate, the other is a function blocking antibody. Mm -hmm. And the plan is to go to phase zero, and phase zero means a microdosing study in patients, patients who have cancer, to validate the target and validate our, our therapy. And we will um, um, begin that process during 2023. And that, that is basically a two-year process. And another thing I think that's interesting for 2023, we will continue our business development activities. And a lot of people don't really see the business development activities that are going on in the background. Mm -hmm. But we're continual, continually working with business development. We have numerous contacts with pharmaceutical companies, with potential collaborators all over the world people who are interested in our companies, interested in what we're doing, who are following us, and who are waiting to see uh, how things turn out, what data we generate, and at the appropriate point, uh, we're very hopeful that you know one or more of them will open their checkbook and mm -hmm. do a deal with us. So that's what I look forward to for, for 2023. Uh, certainly a lot of exciting things uh, going to happen this year, for sure. And that was our conversation with Xintela's chairman, Gregory Batchelor. Thank you so much for joining us today, Gregory. It's a pleasure having you on. Pleasure to be here. Thank you.